Hey guys, what's going on? Dow Radisson at torpedopot.com. Dow Radisson at torpedopot.com. And I'm just enjoying my weekend, just cleaning up my plants and getting them ready for the uh, next growing season. We've already planted the tomatoes and we have okra. We know we're probably gonna about 150 okra just from the bat. We just counted it. Now the tomatoes we can take a look at. I haven't started counting them yet, but I'm assuming, and, and the average in each planter is about 12, 12 plants, the average. And so we expect those 12 plants to yield a lot of tomatoes. Way beyond, if you can see any torpedo pots back there, there are about 33 torpedo pots and they will be growing from five to 10,000 tomatoes in just 40 feet. But today's focus is just going to be on the smaller, these are 16 inch planters, okay? So the 16 inch planter, you might be able to do a total of 50 to 70 tomatoes. I like to be, I always estimate on the conservative side because um, I know for the 16 inch and I know for the 20 inch, we normally do about 70 tomatoes, okay? If you're an experienced grower, you know how to grow your tomatoes, you're gonna get a lot of tomatoes. Now, we planted these from seeds and I came in and pulled out what little weeds were in them. But what I did was that I thinned them out. I probably planted about 30 seeds in each one of these containers. And I let the strongest are the ones that were, uh, they appeared to be more capable of surviving. I allowed them to survive. The ones that were smaller, I planted them in the middle of the planter. <clears throat> They're not getting that sunlight because these on the outside are sucking up all that sunlight. So I pulled those out immediately. I don't necessarily need those. So again, my name is Dow Addison. The company's name is Torpedo Pod, and we make self-growing planters that grow your food for you where you never have to grow your food again. Now, we bought a pack of seeds, I guess, <clears throat> Maybe twenty five dollars, fifteen thousand seeds. Come on, it doesn't mean anything. We threw them in the planter, literally, and we cut the planter on and we walked away. The only thing we've done is to come out and pull the small weeds and stuff like that and separate the plants to, to get more of an efficient grow. But really, besides that, we added the three twelve twelve um, organic solution that we put inside of there, all organic. And we do nothing else. And they grow, and they grow, they grow consistently. They'll all probably hit the same amount of fruit per plant. The precision is extremely high with this type of growth. Torpedo Pot knows how to grow your food like nothing you've ever seen before. So whatever you see going over on here in this location, you'll be able to do it over and over and over and over and over and over again. Now, if one of these planters is growing these tomatoes now, can do, let's say 50, and we got one, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's 250 tomatoes. That, and, and I don't mean 250 tomatoes that I'm guessing will come. 250 tomatoes that I know because of the precision growing that takes place, it's going to deliver and be beyond your wildest dreams. And that's something what you have to do. Each region, each environment is different. The soil type is different. And that's why we use the 31212, because we want to balance that environment. We want to create microbial growth in that environment. And we want to be able to organically make solubles available to the plants so that they can enjoy themselves and eat and live. Dow Addison, torpedopot.com. Dow Addison, torpedopot.com. So yeah, we did these by seeds and they're in here and they're absolutely beautiful. What I did is that because um, they're starting, well, they started blossoming already. And so we know the tomatoes are right around the corner. What I do is I cut off all the lower limbs. People ask me, Dara, why do you cut off all the lower limbs in a plant? And the reason why I cut off the lower limbs is because as the tomato plant gets um, older, the limbs that are closest to the, to the root start to change color. Now, torpedo pot will give you life throughout your tomato, but the amount of light that that leaf is taking in because it's now in a shaded area and the whole bush is over it at this point. So the amount of light is giving, as opposed to the amount of nutrient it needs to stay alive, 
it has to come off because it'll provide more nutrition for the remaining plant. <clears throat> and that's why I groom and cut them off. And so this is the extent of my gardening. Anything that you deem is not productive has to come off. And I want you to learn to take it off. For those who haven't caught, my name is Darrell Addison. I'm the founder of Torpedo Pie, the self-growing planter that grows your food. You don't have to grow your food. You don't, you don't see me digging in the soil. My plants are healthy. Not one plant is showing deficient signs. Not one plant. Now we have the most sunniest spot to the shadier spot. And you'll see all of them are beautiful. That's what I mean by precision growing. And guess what? When they start um, blossoming and start forming fruit, I want you to see perfect fruit. I don't want you to see marks all on my fruit as the result of either something, it, 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 a result of not having good soil and causing different types of microbial growth that fight against your plant. Or even having the fruit using fertil for, uh, synthetic fertilizers that embed themselves. All these methods are not good. They embed themselves as part of the fruit chemistry and they also start to cause the decay. The structure is not there like it was before. So you wanna be able to use torpedo pot because it, it frees you up from having to be a slave to traditional gardening. You don't have to do that anymore. All you do is put your seeds in, put your plants in, and, and you literally just let it grow for you. It does it better than you and I can. Again, I supplement with a 312-12 organic, but by far, this beats any system in the world, hands down. So I don't know of anything that can outdo or outcompete with the torpedo pot. And not only that, what's so interesting is that even though we're growing tomatoes in here, you could turn around and grow lemongrass, or you can put a small tree in this small 16-inch planter. We have a nine-inch planter that we use at Torpedo Pot, and it grew 17 tomatoes, a nine inch planter. Because we need to tell you, it's not about the amount of space that you have. <clears throat> it's the quality of the space that's there. Torpedo Pot allows the microbes to build that quality soil that the plants love. They in turn interact with those microbes to do wonderful things that you've never seen before. Dow Addison, torpedopot.com, where we grow your food, and it's the best feeling in the world. Talk to you guys later, bye-bye.